quality education, expanding access to learning, serving learners' learning needs, tackling challenges of the present time, supporting every learner's dream, Reaching young Pagomenos where they are today. Advancing in the challenge of distance learning, the official TV-based instruction of Deaf Ed Tagum City, bringing you quality education straight to your home. Plug yourself in. This is Deaf Ed TV. Tarana. How are you today? I hope you are all ready and excited for another day of learning with me, Teacher Emmy, your English for Learning Buddy. But before that, let me check if you have your learning module, pen, and notebook with you. Today, you are expected to get the meaning of words through word association or analogy and classification. Before we start the lesson, do you know what do classification and association mean? Let's go to page number one. What are you going to do? You are going to complete the set of words. Let me show you first. What am I wearing? These are gloves. If gloves is for the hands, then what is the hat for? Hat is for the head. Great job, kids! The next set of words is If sun is for day, then what is the moon for? Moon is for night. Good job, kids! Being able to effectively group words together and identify connections help you better understand the information presented. This time, let's have a quick review. Can you still remember your past lesson? Let's find out! Flip your module to page number 3. Denotation is the specific, exact, and concrete meaning of a word found in a dictionary, while connotation is an idea or quality that a word makes you think about in addition to its meaning. It can be positive or negative. Now, Let's identify how are these words used in the sentences. Write C 
if the meaning of the word expresses connotation and D if it's denotation. Write your answers in your notebook. Let's start. Number one. The turtle crawls back to the sea. How does the word turtle is used? Is it connotation or denotation? The answer is denotation. Wow, you got it right. Let's proceed to question number two. We are running late because you are a turtle. In this sentence, how does the word turtle being used? What is the answer? The answer is connotation. Well done, kids! Great job, kids! You already know how to identify the different meanings of content-specific words using denotation and connotation. Are you ready now to learn another way of getting the meaning of words through word classification and association? Now, let's read the following groups of words and identify the subject to which you learn the following topics. Choose your answers from the word bank. Here's an example. Number one, patience, hard work, respect. Hmm, what do you think is the answer? The answer is edukasyon sa pagpapakatao. This time, it's your turn. Number two, gardening, sewing, computer. What do you think is the answer? The answer is edukasyong pantahanan at pangkabuhayan. Number three, heat energy, water cycle, temperature. What do you think is the subject? The answer is science. Lastly, number four. Verbs, adjectives, pronouns. What do you think is the subject? The answer is English. Well done, kids. You analyze the connections among the given words and were able to think of the subject where you learn the set of topics or skills given. What you just did is word classification. show analogy. An analogy is a comparison of two things that may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. Example, gift is a Christmas day 
as Red Rose is to Valentine's Day. Why is this so? Because gifts are everywhere on Christmas. Just as the same with roses on a Valentine's Day. Let's do Activity A Analogy. Directions. Choose the letter of the word that completes each sentence and write your answer in your notebook. You are given 5 seconds to answer each item. Let's start. Number 1. A lion is to animal as rose is to A flower B grass C plant D roots The answer is letter C, plant. Do we have the same answer? Wow, that's great! Let's proceed to number two. Grass is to soil, as seaweed is to A, air, B, garden, C, pot, D, water. The correct answer is letter D, water. Finally, number three. Elbow is to arm as the knee is to A, finger, B, leg, C, nose, D, walking. What is your answer? The answer is letter B, leg. Did you get all the answers correctly? Awesome! You're doing great! Next is activity B, word classification. How are you going to do it? Find the best way to classify the words in each box. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. Let's start! Number 1. Cupcakes, brownies, cookies. A. They are made of meat. B. They are made with sugar flour, and milk. C. They are made with vegetables. What is your answer? The correct answer is letter B. They are made with sugar, flour, and milk. Let's proceed to number two. Milk, juice, tea. A. You can cook them. B. You can drink them. C. You can eat them. What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is letter B. You can drink them. Did you get it right? Great job! Lastly, number three. Dentist, teacher, scientist. A. They are mostly men. B. They are all professionals. C. They are mostly women. 
What do you think is the answer? The correct answer is letter B. They are all professionals. You have done an amazing job, kids! Excellent! Let's check whether you understood how to get the meaning of words through word classification and association or analogy. Turn your module to page 8. Complete the paragraph with the missing words. Choose your answers from the given choices. Word classification, similar, analogy, characteristics. Let's begin! Now let's check if you get the correct answers. It is a skill of grouping related words together which is called word classification. Words can be classified or grouped according to ways in which they are similar. It is a comparison of two things called Analogy that may have similar or opposite characteristics or features. Congratulations, kids! You have done a great job today. I hope you learned something. For that, let's have the final assessment. Are you ready? Let's begin! Are you ready? Set A analogy. Choose the letter of the word that completes each sentence. Write the answer in your notebook. Number one. A banana is to yellow as a grape is to A brown B. Orange C. Red D. Violet Number 2 A mango is to fruit as a squash is to A. Animal B. Tree C. Toy D. Vegetable Number 3 A kitten is to cat A skid is to A. Cow B. Dog C. Goat D. Pig Were you able to answer all the questions? Great job! Let's proceed to set B. Word classification. Find the best way to classify the words in each box. Write the letter of the correct answer in your notebook. Let's begin. Number 1. Docs. Cow. Pigs. A. They are all birds. B. They are all farm animals. C. They are all fish. Number 2. Skirt. Pants. Shirt. 
A. They are all body coverings. B. They are all pieces of clothing. C. They are all rainy day clothes. Number 3 Independence Day Ramadan Labor Day A. They are all holidays B. They are all months C. They are all reunions Did you have fun answering all the activities? Were you able to answer the final assessment correctly? If you do, you did an amazing job! This is it kids! Finally, we are done with our lesson! Congratulations for a job well done! This is Teacher Ami saying, that learning is such a wonderful adventure of so many things. Just do your best. Keep safe, kids. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh